you have to learn to love yourself first and foremost and um, kind of rid yourself of all the, all the negative self-talk. And it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks, right? Like, if you don't like what you see when you look in the mirror. Do you love what you see? Really? Or do you love what you don't? Not quite a man, but not really a beast. That's how I allowed others to use me. That's the lie that I bought so swiftly without regard that I had sacrificed my very heart, my very mind, my very life to my own worst enemy. Pride, media, mainstream, and the Western ideal. Not slim, not in. Not light, not quite. No brown, no frowns. No perm, no burn. Not tall, not at all. Few naps, use tracks. Few peas, choose weaves. And now we can crown you beauty. But do you love what you see? Really? Or do you love what you don't? Are you content with struggling to meet the standard of a worldview that doesn't even know the real you? Always chasing trends and stacking magazines in hopes that you will one day distort yourself enough to be something that will be desired. As the channel turns, you witness the perversion of modern day minstrels, contemporary puppets that turn you into a computer generated boy toy for 10 seconds of fame, eye candy for the visually challenged man. So guys don't want a real woman. They want to see who can provide a lie to them. Until your heart entertains the myth and cries out, I cannot stand the way that I am naturally, and I refuse to be happy unless I change. You know I used to call you ebony. Warm, deep, and built for the storm. You were made for this challenge. You have a history of standing through scrutiny. You can take this weight in whatever life throws your way and smile back and say, is that all you got for today? Do not underestimate how uniquely God made you. What was wrong with you in the first place? Did God make a mistake? Or are you disturbed that your lips are soft and full? Or are you troubled that your hair doesn't block your view? In order to embrace the truth and beauty, you will have to begin by shedding away the lies. And one day, you will wake up to embrace what you are and not what they say you are. Your name is Ebony. Warm, deep, and built for the storm. You were made for this challenge. You have a history of standing through scrutiny. You can take this weight in whatever life throws your way and smile back and say, is that all you got for today? Do not underestimate how uniquely God made you. The blood that runs through your veins was sought after and bought by a loving God, and he never looked at your color, nor your makeup. He looked at your heart. It saw something more precious than gold, more than the value of all precious stones combined, and that something is priceless. That's what you are to him, and that's what you are to me. You were made for this challenge. You have a history of standing through scrutiny. What's your beauty? Your honesty, character, humility, integrity, godliness your self-respect, my ebony, warm, deep, and built for the storm. And I love what I see. I really love what I see, not what I don't. So it was less about what the world sees and more about what I see when I look in the mirror and I want to like what I see.